Hey G Squad and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing y'all like a updated version of my banana pudding. I kind of changed it around slightly. So I just wanted to introduce you to it. But um, also um, in the, uh, when I was showing you the list of ingredients that I use, I forgot to put in the, uh, to show you the flour and the butter that I added to it. But you'll see that, you know, as we go along. So I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing you in the kitchen. Okay, G Squadian. So here are most of the ingredients on the counter. As I stated in the intro, I forgot to show the uh, flour and the butter. But I have my um, vanilla wafers. I have a bunch of bananas here. Then in this bowl, I have four eggs. However, I'm only going to use like uh, the egg uh, yolk, two egg yolks for my custard. And then the egg whites I'm going to use for my meringue. I have two cans of carnation milk. Um, here's my sugar that's leaking out of the bag. And then I have some uh, vanilla flavor. And uh, this is a dish that I'm going to use as I'm making like a small a banana pudding so i'm going to begin with uh layering my um wafers and my bananas in this dish <laughs> Okay, so now that we have our pan all lined with our cookies and bananas, we're going to get started uh, with making our custard. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to do is um, separate before we actually get into the cooking part of our custard. You want to make sure you have everything all lined up. So now what I'm doing is separating my yolk uh, from my um, my whites. And as I said, these a couple of these yolks are going to go into the uh, the custard mixture, and then the rest of the um, the egg, which is egg white, is going to be uh, preserved for our um, the custard for the meringue. I'm sorry. Okay, fam. So now I added um, about uh, half a stick of unsalted um, butter in the uh, pot and allowed that to melt. And then I added the um, the milk in. And y'all, the reason you see me pouring the milk from the cup is because, uh, to be honest, I was having all types of mishaps off the uh, camera. 
Um, I, I completely forgot to um, include the flour and the butter when I realized, you know, I had to take the milk back out of the pot to add a quarter stick of um, unsweetened, I'm sorry, unsalted butter, allowed it to melt. Then I add the, uh, pour the uh, milk back in the pot. And then now in that cup, I have um, some flour in which I'm adding, I'm going to add some of the, um, the milk to that and then mix, blend that in before I add it to my um, pot because you don't want to add your flour directly from the bag to the warm um, milk because it'll cause clumps. And so I just, um, you know, mix it off, mix it separately. Then once it's a nice uh, form where I can pour it in, then I just include that, you know, in my, um, in my pot and then, you know, begin to mix it like that. And family, when you're making this custard, once you get started with it, you cannot walk away from this pot. I mean, you have to stir, 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 stir. I don't care if your Amazon package, you know, showed up at the door. Do not walk away from this custard. Stay and blend, blend, blend it until it's um, nice and mixed. Now, you see, I stopped stirring it for a few seconds. And that's because I'm an OG, you know, when making banana pudding. This is actually my... um fourth one I made since uh, visiting with my family in, um, you know, Virginia. And so now I'm just mixing, 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 mixing. And so I go in now and then, um, I'm just going to beat my, um, my, uh, yolk uh, for a little bit. And then I'm just adding some of the milk from the pot with that as well. And, uh, same thing. You want it like a liquid form because you don't want to pour your eggs in and then they start scrambling. And so now just get everything in there. And then from here on, you're just going to stir, 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 stir until you get that thickness that you like. And then if you need to go back in and add flour, do so until you, you know, you get it to that nice consistency. And then also, if you don't have flour, you can use um, cornstarch as well. They both serve as a really nice uh, thickening agent uh, for your custard. Fam, as I'm editing this video, I'm looking like I had a serious food fight with flour. I mean, this flour on my wrist, on my bracelet, on my bodice, on my shirt, on the sleeve, all on the stove. I'm telling you, flour is like one of the messy ingredients to cook with. Comment below if you um if your your stove if you end up looking like this after using flour. Okay, so once you get your flour. Um, and your eggs nice and blended in with your milk. Then you go ahead and um, add your sugar. And uh, I, I forgot this sugar, was, this bag was leaking from the bottom. So I just grabbed it and started pouring it. But um, anyway, um, you just sweeten it, your custard to your liking. So just start off gradually. You add some and, you know, then in between you taste it. If you add, need to add more sugar, you know, add it. But don't just go ham and just add a bunch of sugar. And then when you mix it and it tastes it, you find like it's too sweet. Uh, so yeah, we want banana pudding, not diabetes pudding. And so just, you know, be gradual when you're adding it in and then just keep blending and blending and blending and mixing. Okay. So now after stirring this roughly for about, I want to say about a good 15, 20 minutes, you see me, I take the spoon now, right? And I dip it in and your custard should stick to the back of the spoon. So once that happens, then you know that's, that it's ready. So now as you see, um, I remove my pan from the heat. Or you could just turn your stove off at this point because I like to just go in and add my vanilla flavoring in at the very end because I don't want to cook it through the process and then have the vanilla burn. So I literally take it off the stove and um, as it's cooling down, I just add in the um, my vanilla extract. And then again, just like with the sugar, you taste it. If you want to add more vanilla flavor, you could. If you're fine with the way it is, then, you know, that's cool. So, yeah, so now I'm just, again, tasting it. And then uh, I just decide, you know, I want to add more vanilla. So this is a small bottle. So I just ended up actually adding uh, the remainder of the uh, vanilla extract. And then, so now I'm just mixing, mixing, and mixing it until it's nice and uh, blended. 
Okay, so now this is the custard. So now as you see, I'm just pouring it throughout the pan, making sure I get every corner, every nook and cranny. And yes, you all did take some of the custard from the side of the pot and lick it and what? <laughs> yeah, so now I'm taking my big spoon and I'm just going to move the bananas and um, wafers around because I want to make sure that custard gets all underneath there, you know, in every pocket. And so I'm just, you just keep moving it around and then just, you know, add more custard as you need until this, this, um, everything is, is completely submerged in the, um, in your, um, your custard mixture. All right, family, so now we're going to get started with our custard. And I know some people struggle when it, make, when it comes to making custard, like my older sister, Angie Hey says, this is one of her, um, her struggles, her challenges, trying to figure out how to make the meringue. So simply just take your mixer and just mix, start mixing your meringue. Don't add anything to it. Don't add sugar. Some people use cream of tartar. I don't even add that. I just simply start mixing this by itself. And as you see how my custard is starting to form, it's becoming thick. It's gonna, you know, um, start to develop the little peaks that you're looking for. Then after you get it to the consistency, you like that thickness that when you see those peaks and valleys, then you go in and what you'll see in a few minutes and start adding your sugar. And the same thing when you were making your um, the custard, you want to gradually add the sugar and taste it as you go along because you don't want to make it too sweet. So then you have sweet custard, you have sweet meringue, and then your pie is just like, you know, too sweet. And so as you see, I just start off, you know, sprinkling some and then I'm going to go back in with my mixer. And then you just want to mix, mix, mix. And then like I said, in between, you just taste it. When you get it to the consistency, then you stop. And you see all those pretty little waves and stuff forming. Yeah. All right, family, so now down to the final process of making this beautiful banana pudding. So now we're going to take our custard. Now you see that? Y'all see how thick that custard is? Nice and fluffy, all snow white and pretty. And so now you're just going to pile it on your, on top of your, um, your meringue on top of your pie. And then, uh, you all keep, you know, calling the custard, the meringue and the meringue, the custard, but y'all know what I mean. So now I'm applying the meringue on top of the uh, banana pudding and I'm just going to distribute it, you know, throughout making sure I cover every corner. And so I'm um, also, um, I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees because we do have eggs in here and those eggs need to cook. And then also our, um, you know, the meringue needs to, uh, brown. 
And so now I'm just, you know, going to just continue to add my, um, you know, the meringue on the top and you can add as thick or as thin of a layer as you like. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm just going to continue doing here. Alrighty, G Squad. So here is our banana pudding, fresh out of the oven. Nice and beautiful. My custard is a nice little golden brown, the way I like it. Here's a side view of it. So now I'll just let this sit out for a little while, uh, cool off, and then we'll sit it in the refrigerator to get a nice little chill on before we serve it. But yeah, so that's it. That's, that wraps up this video. And depending on when I, um, well, I'm not going to eat it. You know, the kids and stuff, when they decide, decide to, um, you know, eat it, I will uh, turn the camera back on and show you what it, you know, looks like once they dip into it. Because, um, again, right now it needs to, you know, cool and then chill. But, um, yeah, so if I don't, in the event that I don't pop, you know, back in, I want to thank you so much. For tuning in to the channel and watching me, um, you know, cook per usual. You could have been doing anything with your time. And you chose to spend it with me. And it is greatly appreciated. And I hope I did not dis disappoint. And so uh, until then, I love you guys so much. I really appreciate you. You know that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.